Last week we made a makeshift knee ascender and people seemed to like it, so this week we're going to build it. I went to a lawnmower shop and picked up one clip, but everything else I had here at my house. So let's get to it. So here's the neck leash that I built last week, and it's a bungee cord and just a, a cover of a rope, and um, that'll go around my neck. And then this is the leg portion that I use. It's just a, a, a cord connected to a clip and then another clip. Um, th what I'm going to do this week is do something a little bit different on this portion. I'll use this clip for the top. And on the bottom, I'll just use a bowline. So if you're a person who doesn't have a um, loop on your boot, you could just use the bowline. Um, what I have is a bungee. Now this bungee you can get in any hardware store. They already have it's already crimped. Um, I bought this little um, clip that'll more likely fit in here. I'm going to use this piece of rope right here to take the jacket off and then I'll slide this bungee into it more for protecting your neck uh, than anything. But this is already you know made up so um, you try to find a length that you think is going to work for you. And then I just got some rope here, and this will be the leg portion, so it'll take the place of this. So what I'm going to do with this is make a bowline on one end, and then I'll put this clip on the top, probably tie it with some kind of knot, I'm not sure what yet. So first thing I'll do is I'll, I'll make a bowline for my boot. So what I'll do is I'll just put it on my boot here, and then I'll make a bowline so um, it'll be kind of easy for me to slip on once I'm um, out in the field, so I'll kind of maybe make it not too, I don't want it to be too, too long. All right. And something where I'll be able to take it on and off fairly simple. Let's see if I could, okay, something like that I could probably take it on and off pretty easy. Okay, so that'll be the bowling part. Okay, now what, what I have this cord here is the length that I use with a clip and another clip. So I have to figure out, okay, I'll go from the bottom, oh, maybe it's the top of this. So I'll say the top of this is because where my boot was to about 27 inches. Now for me, what I'm going to do is I think I'll probably put like maybe like a bunt line hitch on this. So I'll probably need an additional, I think was it like 14 inches maybe? So maybe to about right here. So what I'm going to do is I'll cut this section here because I'll need um, something for my, um, the knot that I'm going to tie into that, um, into that clip. Let me see here. All right, so I got that. Let me burn the the edge real quick so it's not. I want to burn this so it doesn't fray on me. Now after I burn it, what I'll do, and I'll, I'll go to the 14 inch mark. Let me see. So the top of here. Let me go from the top of here actually. And go to about like 14 inches so maybe about here okay so somewhere around here is where I'll put my clip let me see slide this in that's kind of hot Let's see if we can see. okay all right to about right around the 14 inch mark hang on okay so somewhere around here is where I'm going to tie a bunt line hitch. I got my bunt line hitch to go. Now, hopefully, it'll be about right. So, what I'm going to do, this is going to be the part where I'm going to connect to um, my hitch climber pulley. So I'll put this on my foot and then when I'm ready I'll, I'll clip this onto the hitch climber pulley. Okay, so 
I think this is going to be the length that I need. And I can always adjust it if it's not. I could just take some more off of this. Um, but I think this will fit on my boot pretty simply. Let me see. Make sure I got that. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty snug. You don't want it too loose. Okay. So now that I got my foot strap, now that's ready to go. The next thing I'm going to work on is going to be the coat for the bungee cord. So I, I got the jacket off, but what I didn't account for was the bump where it's crimped. It won't fit in the jacket. So I'm just going to not use the jacket and I'm just going to use the bungee bed itself. So all I really need to do is get this clip and slide it in. And once I get that piece in, and then I'll get the next piece in. There we go. It's it's pretty nice though because it's it's already crimped. So now this will be the piece that I'll just put over my neck. Now, if you really feel like you need protection, you could probably get a bigger rope or maybe buy some kind of tube to protect your neck. But I think it'll work fine in this way for me. So yeah, fits around my neck. So this will be the part that I clip onto my hitch climber pulley. And then when I start doing my walk, this will be what I'll use. The next thing we'll do is we'll go out and see if this works. Now that we put this makeshift knee ascender together, we're gonna give it a try out on the tree here. So I'll get this bungee with the clip. I'll put it on. Okay. Gonna get the foot leash and my helmet. Put it on. Go over to the tree here and lean on it. I'm gonna leave those gloves here so I don't slip and fall. All right. There we go. Now I'm going to grab the gloves. Click this onto the side here for now for safekeeping. Put my gloves on. Connect this to my saddle, my climbing system. Now that I got it on, I'm going to click the clip in. So clip, oops. Clip it right here. Right in there. Might as well close. Okay. Next what I'll do is I'll get my foot ascender and get a little off the ground. Got my foot ascender. A step. Another step up. Alright. Make sure this is still on. Okay. Unclip this. And I'll clip it into the, right under the other, other clip. And now I'll go upward. Maybe. There it goes. That's about high enough. Unclip my my neck. Disconnect the foot leash. Throw it on the side, and then descend down. Well, there you have it. It works. I think that if I made this leash a little bit shorter, I would have more of a stride. But the older I get, it's harder for me to bend my knees. So I think this would do for me. Well, there you have it. A super simple, inexpensive way to have a rope walking system where we use this bungee cord and a clip and just a, a piece of rope with a bowline and another clip to clip on. But if you didn't want to buy a clip like this, you could also just have a bowline on this foot, make a bowline on this, and then you could just connect it to here and then as you walk, it would work. And then when you get to the top, you lanyard in and pop it off if that's what you want to do. 
But anyhow, I think it works really well. It's really inexpensive. If you're somebody who just wants to see what it would be like to have a rope, rope walking system, good way to start. Some people might even like this. Um, it wasn't too big of a deal that I didn't have um, a cover on this. A lot of times, a lot of people will have a buff on and that would probably like save it or they might have collared shirts. A lot of companies have collared shirts. But honestly, right now when I was using it, it didn't bother me one bit. And I, I had some comments of people saying that, oh, you might get choked. Well, what you could do is buy a bungee that's long enough and just put it over your shoulder. You could get it from the back, put it over your shoulder and connect to your system. And then I'm sure that would probably work just as well as what this does. And it would still also be very inexpensive. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like what we do. And by all means, share our videos. Take care. We'll see you next time.